Would you like to sit? No, thank you. Some wine? No, thank you. I'm sorry about your grandson. Are you? I don't believe that a child is responsible for the sins of his father. Or his grandfather. An awful way to die. Which way is that? Are you interrogating me, Lord Tywin? Some believe the king choked. Some believe the sky is blue because we live inside the eye of a blue-eyed giant. The king was poisoned. I hear you studied poisons at the Citadel. I did. This is why I know. Your hatred for my family is rather well known. You arrive at the capital an expert in poisoning. Some days later, my grandson dies of poisoning. Rather suspicious. Why haven't you thrown me in a dungeon? You spoke with Tyrion in this very brothel on the day that you arrived. What did you discuss? You think we conspired together? What did you discuss? The death of my sister. For which you blame me. She was raped and murdered by the mountain. The mountain follows your orders. Of course I blame you. Well, here I stand, unarmed, unguarded. Should I be concerned? You are unarmed and unguarded because you know me better than that. I am a man of reason. If I cut your throat today, I will be drawn and quartered tomorrow. Men at war commit all kinds of crimes without their superior's knowledge. So you deny involvement in Elias' murder? Categorically. I would like to speak with the mountain. I'm sure he would enjoy speaking with you. He might not enjoy it as much as he thinks he would. I could arrange for this meeting. But you want something in return. There will be a trial for my son, and as custom dictates, three judges will render a verdict. I will preside. Mace Tyrell will serve as the second judge. I would like you to be the third. Why? Not long ago, the Tyrells sided with Renly Baratheon, declared themselves enemies of the throne. Now they are our strongest allies. You made the Tyrell girl a queen. Asking me to judge at your son's trial isn't quite as tempting. I will also invite you to sit on the small council to serve as one of the new king's principal advisers. I never realized you had such respect for Dorn, Lord mm. Tywin. We are not the Seven Kingdoms until Dorn returns to the fold. The king is dead. The Greyjoys are in open rebellion. A wildling army marches on the wall. And in the east, a Targaryen girl has three dragons. Before long, she will turn her eyes to Westeros. Only the Dornish managed to resist Aegon Targaryen and his dragons. You're saying you need us. That must be hard for you to admit. We need each other. You help me serve justice to the king's assassins, and I will help you serve justice to Elias. 